All the stars we see, including our sun, are in a balance of powers. Stars are very heavy objects, so they have strong gravity, which presses them from the outside and makes them shrink. But inside a star, while it burns fuel, there are nuclear reactions that produce incredible amounts of energy. This energy is the light and heat that we feel during the day. But most importantly, these reactions increase the pressure inside the star and create a force that is fighting with gravity. So as long as the star has a full tank, it's safe. But then, the fuel runs out, the pressure inside the star falls, and the gravity wins. A star the size of our sun can shine for about 10 billion years. Specifically, our lovely sun is about 4.5 billion years old and has already burned half its fuel. The next stage in a star's life comes when it runs out of juice. Internal pressure drops, but gravity continues to press. At some point, a star simply collapses under its own weight and shrinks to the size of its core at the speed of almost a quarter of the speed of light. In less than half a second, a huge star turns into a small and dense object. This rapid collapse creates incredible shock waves that cause the upper layers of the star to explode. Now, an incredible amount of energy and matter is thrown into outer space. At this moment, luminosity of the star increases millions or even billions of times. This is the flash that our scientists can see with super powerful telescopes. But the light from this explosion doesn't reach our planet until many years later. So in fact, this star has long since faded. There are several options at this point. It all depends on the size of the star. If its mass is small, about the mass of our sun, then for several months, this flash will become brighter and brighter until it reaches its peak. Then, the energy of the explosion will begin to dissipate, gradually fading and cooling down. A few years will pass, and the temperature of the former star will match that of space, and it will simply cease to exist. But the heavier the star, the more interesting the events will be. Heavy stars burn their fuel too quickly and have a much shorter lifespan. Stars weighing about eight masses of the sun can collapse into a rather unusual object, which is rarely found in the universe, a neutron star. This dull ball is only six to 12 miles wide and covered with a hard metal crust about half a mile thick. Neutron stars can weigh about two suns and have a strong gravity force. If you feel comfortable and in good shape on Earth, you wouldn't even be able to lift a needle or a match here. What's more, you would be pressed to the surface like a pancake and just unable to move. But there are stars dozens of times heavier than the sun. An explosion of such a supernova, which weighs at least 40 times more than the sun, gives birth to the most inexplicable and mysterious object in the universe, a black hole. At first, an incredibly bright explosion occurs. A shockwave spreads, carrying dust and matter of the former star around like a fog. And at the place of the explosion, only a small black disk is left. This black abyss is the heaviest object in the universe. It's so heavy that its gravity curves space-time around it. Yes, the closer you are to a black hole, the slower time will go for you. If you could get close enough to one of them, spend a couple of minutes in its orbit, and return to Earth, you would simply not recognize your home. One minute near a black hole can be a month, a year, or a decade on Earth. This depends on how heavy the black hole is. But don't get too close. The force of its gravity is so strong that even light can't escape from it. Humanity also knows about the existence of supermassive black holes. They gradually build up their mass, feeding on different cosmic objects just like a predator. Usually, such supermassive black holes lie in the centers of galaxies, and their gravity is so strong 
they can hold countless stars near them. For example, this is the only photo of a black hole, which is located in the center of the Messier 87 galaxy. The orange glow around it is its event horizon. That's the remains of the light from the objects this black hole has swallowed. You're quite safe, though. The closest black hole is 1,120 light years away. But supernovae can explode not only when gravity wins the fight with the star's internal forces. Sometimes the opposite happens. The nuclear fusion inside the star begins to affect much more matter than normal. The pressure inside a star increases and it defeats the force of gravity that exerts pressure on the star from outside. At this point, there's a boom. This never happens by itself. And this type of supernova is only possible in binary star systems. Two stars are spinning around each other. One star begins to swallow the substance from the other. Then the nuclear reactions inside it are no longer in balance and a supernova explodes. For some time, scientists believed that such an explosion could occur in 2022. There's such a binary system in the Swan constellation at a distance of 1,800 light years from the Sun. The luminous red nova should have occurred here. Such a red flash would have been visible to the naked eye for months. And after the explosion itself and the merger of two stars, a new, hotter and heavier star was to appear in their place. But a new analysis of the data revealed a calculation error, and this event will not happen soon after all. So now we see that a supernova explosion is a very dangerous event, and it can cause great harm to our planet if it happens close enough. The main danger is gamma rays. This is the radiation that comes from the explosion. When these rays reach the Earth, they affect our space shield, the atmosphere. They reduce the ozone layer and make us vulnerable to solar radiation and cosmic rays. In this case, all life on the planet is an incredible danger. And the bad news is that such an explosion could happen quite soon. Betelgeuse, the brightest star in the night sky, about 17 times larger than the sun and 8.5 billion years old. It's begun to exhaust its fuel reserves. Scientists predict that this giant will explode like a supernova at any moment within the next 10,000 years. So it may happen in a few centuries or even tomorrow. Everything will happen as follows. Betelgeuse will collapse in a fraction of a second, and then it will explode so brightly that it will look like a second moon in the night sky. We will observe a new bright spot in the sky for weeks or even months. But then, it will begin to fade until it completely disappears. Not without a trace, though. In its place, there will be a neutron star, weighing 1.5 times the Sun. It will be one of the biggest events that humanity has ever seen. Still, we have nothing to be afraid of. Betelgeuse is about 550 light years away from us, so its X-rays and ultraviolet light will not affect us. A much greater danger is posed by the release of material that occurs in a supernova explosion. But this shouldn't make you worried either. The shock wave won't reach the Earth until 6 million years later, and it will be suppressed by the oncoming solar wind. So if we see Betelgeuse explode today, it will be an epic sight. But in fact, the star will not exist at the time because it will mean the event itself happened almost six centuries ago. It's just that now the light from it has reached us. Some scientists believe that the Ordovician Silurian extinction events, which occurred almost half a billion years ago, happened exactly because of a star explosion. Then, almost 60% of marine vertebrates went extinct. Yet, it was not a supernova but a hypernova. That is what scientists call explosions of stars 100 to 150 times larger than the sun. 
In addition to the abnormal weight, the star must rotate very quickly. Such objects are very rare. In our galaxy, there are few of them, and scientists believe that hypernovae occur about once in 200 million years.